The Seahawks improved to 8-3 on the season with a 23-17 win over the Philadelphia Eagles. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Week 12 game recap. Well, it's another Monday night football win for the Seahawks as they beat the Philadelphia Eagles 23-17. A couple things in the big sense. We, we, we shut them out with the, with the football tonight, pitched a, a goose egg for the offense, which is always where it starts. Uh, the defense did a fantastic job all night long, really started fast, stayed with it. Several players returned after missing a handful of games with injuries. Shaquille Griffin, Chris Carson, and Ethan Posick were all back on the field. Uh, it was great to get those guys back. We made a big deal about it last night in the meeting, just you know, just kind of welc welcoming them back in and, and uh, looking forward to them playing with us again. Monday night was the first time Chris Carson and Carlos Hyde were on the field together since week seven. The team finished with a modest 76 rushing yards. Carson finished with 41 yards on eight carries, but had an impressive 16 yard touchdown run where he bulldozed his way into the end zone, taking several Eagles defenders with him. I feel good. Um, it was hard missing all those games, you know what I mean? But uh, I feel good being back out there with the guys and uh, help contribute to a win. Uh, the touchdown run, the old line did a great job, you know what I mean, opening that hole. And, uh, you know, I mean, I seen the end zone, so my game is physical, so I wanted to get in, so I made that happen. To have those guys back was amazing. Um, you know, I think that's a collective effort of the offensive line doing a great job. We really had a couple more big plays in the running game. We got a couple holding calls, I think. We had the touchdown um, with Carlos, which was a sweet run. I mean, that was an awesome run by him. Uh, Chris getting him back in there, just getting him early touches early in the game was really cool in the passing and the running game. Um, so yeah, it felt it felt like a championship football team. I think that's what we won. And those two guys are going to keep pounding away. Yeah, if one gets hot, then he'll get more. But those guys are great at, at bringing it, just like we want to. Uh, we didn't run the ball as well as we'd like to tonight. Um, we've had a lot of trouble running the ball against these guys over the years, and, and uh, it wasn't a whole lot different tonight. Just to see uh, thir 32 back down the backfield, uh, running over people and carrying people for two to three yards at these at these hit is, is amazing. Wide receiver DK Metcalf had another fantastic outing with his fifth game of 100 plus receiving yards. He finished the night with 10 catches for 177 yards, setting a new career high, including a huge 52 yard catch and an even more impressive one handed grab along the sideline with former all pro Darius Slade draped all over him. Incredible one hand catch. He, he knew he was fighting for space, you know, and so he, he decided to make the space so he could and, and go with the one handed catch. He, he knew exactly what he was doing, and, and uh, well, it was a marvelous job of keeping him feet, him, feet him bounce too, and all of that finishing the catch. Yeah, man, he's a, he's a, he's a beast. He's a, he's a man child, but I don't think he's really taken off yet. You know, I, 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 I firmly believe that he has more in the tank, and, and that's the special thing about it, man. So I'm always pulling for him. Like I said, I think, you know, to be able to have all the answers in every circumstance, I think it's really key, and especially on those third down situations. And we were able to capitalize on some big moments there, and that was a big one for sure. One of the defensive coaches came up to me, and it kind of made me mad that he was like, um, you know, I was, I was in Detroit with uh, Megatron, but you're not there yet. Um, you know, in my mind, I'm not trying to be Megatron. I'm trying to be me. So, um, you know, I had, had a little uh, chip on my shoulder the whole game. The scoreline doesn't tell the full story of the game for the Seahawks defense as they had another strong showing. They forced five straight three and outs to start the game and Quandre Diggs had an interception late in the game. The defense gave up a season low 250 total yards of offense as they continue to improve chemistry and communication, especially on the back end. The pass rush was effective once again, finishing with a season high six sacks by seven different players. One of those sacks was by Jamal Adams, who increased his team lead to six and a half on the season, which ties his career high set last year. He finished with a sack, two quarterback hits, and he also led the team in tackles with nine on the night. A lot of guys contributed to that, which is great. Carlos had, had a couple really good rushes, of course. Everybody's hitting it, you know, and so it's uh, Kenny's doing a really nice job of mixing the calls and, and utilizing the personnel and, and uh, keeping them off balance, and, and it's great that everybody's benefiting. Yeah, this is the game that, you know, they're going to they're gonna change things around. They're going to get that pass rush started. It's going to make a huge turnaround going into this, this game, so it was huge. You know, the main thing they had to do was believe in us, and I'm glad they did. Like I said, we can only get better from here, and I feel like that's the best thing about, you know, this, this Seattle organization. That second half of the season, we always find a way just to be better, to get better. And that's something that we got to build off of. So I'm excited.
excited about it. You know, it's just the beginning. I mean, nobody's talking about the defense enough, in, in my opinion. Um, you know, they've been playing the bus off uh, from, you know, the back end to our corners to linebackers. And, you know, we're, we're getting to the quarterback every game right now. So, you know, our defense is, is playing unstoppable right now. Well, once again, the Seahawks get the win on the road 23 to 17 against the Philadelphia Eagles. They improve to eight and three on the season and take back the top spot in the NFC West. Next up, the Seahawks take on the four and seven New York Giants right here at Lumen Field in week 13.